Hey guys, welcome to yet another CSS battle. Uh, in this video, we are going to attempt the target number 75, which is Hippo. Uh, so without wasting further time, let's get started. If you like our videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button so that you can help this video reach as many people as possible. Kick. So this is our uh, CSS battle. We are going to get this hippo. So first, as usual, uh, we will be using the approach which we have been following for this entire video. Uh, we'll be using variables. So basically star is a global selector. We are selecting all the elements that are going to be in our page now. So all the elements we would be positioning absolute. So we need not give each and every element position absolute. Uh, we will be using uh, p tags and we will give border and uh, uh, this time we are going to try something different with height and the width. Instead of giving height and the width, we are going to use padding. So for padding, I'll give a variable double dash p. So we'll use padding in this particular uh, problem and let's see how it goes position obviously we'll be using margins with a variable double dash as we have been using in this entire video uh, so in this video i'm going to purely use css variables so that you can understand it better um, we are we'll see how we can reduce the code afterwards okay so next thing we would be using is like background so background we'll use it as a variable double dash g and we'll initialize the background to 191919. So that's the default background. Then we have border radius. Border radius, we can use variable double dash r. Uh, we can give initialize it at 50%. So basically, we are going to use borders, obviously. So we'll all the elements we can have 50% and from that we can modify and see how it works. Uh, what else do we use? So in order to achieve this uh, rotation, I mean the slant of 45 degree and minus 45 degree, we'll use transform obviously. So uh, let's transform and rotate. I'm going to use variable even for this. So let this be uh, arrow for rotate that should be fine and uh, yeah uh, we'll use only the rotate option we no need anything else so for ro we have to give it inside the var yeah so we have given most of uh, details in here the next thing we'll have p uh, we can give class so basically i'll uh, we have different styles one is the small shaped, uh, which has the black inner and uh, uh, this pinkish exterior border. We can do that. Uh, or you can have a black border. The I think these both are of the same size. Only thing is the border is black in color over here. So we can have this as one P type. Oh, we'll see as and when we go. So let's have an A tag. So for class A. Uh, let's have uh, padding. We are going to try different approach. So let's give double dash G uh, the background to be pink color for now. Uh, oh, green. Yeah, uh, padding we can have 10 PX plus 15 PX. Double dash you can have zero. So if you see like it is not working because we have made a mistake here, it is class. Okay. So we have not given any padding. Uh, we would be rotating. So we'll have double dash R O, which is rotate. Uh, we'll give it 45 degrees. I don't know what is happening. Degree. Yeah, uh, so this is what we want over here. Uh, 10 by 15 looks right for now. Let's see if we position it properly. Uh, height. 
mm, I think 75 let's see 75 75 pixel is right but uh, I think from the right hand side it should be 100 no uh, 150 is it too much it sounds right but no it is too much probably we can have 140 okay the width seems to be higher so width we can reduce it to 5 pixels Oh, the rotation is different. Height can be 10 pixel in left. Okay, let's rotate it minus 45 degree. Uh, we need to give border. Border, you have 5 pixel solid and we need this color to be the border. So let's see now. Urgent seems to be off. 70 is right and 145, 150. Yeah, 150 is right. We can give the double dash G. Ah, double, triple zero is enough for black. So ultimately, triple zero or six zeros makes no difference. So we have this A, uh, again we will be using class A but here we'll have style we need a transform rotate to be 45 degree instead of minus 45 degree and uh, margin we have from top 70 plus we need to have at least 200. Yeah. Uh, more than 200 for sure. Let's have 270. Eee. Too much. 240. Quite literal. 235. Nah, 230. Yeah, 230 is about right. So that's the first P. Uh, when we come to this, we'll use the same element. So whatever P class we give here, we'll use the same thing. Only thing is we'll change the border to different color. Or we can have a different class altogether. But I want to have as less code as possible. So, okay. Next thing we'll do is class B. Uh, so for B... Uh, we will have uh, width so let's give padding first uh, before padding let's have uh, the color so that we can get what we are doing uh, let's this be green again just for reference and double dash p would be 50 plus 50 okay 50 plus uh, 75 70 Okay, let that be that and uh, double dash M or margin 75 from top looks right where well, I think padding is right uh, radius we need to change plus 120 5 one Padding is more, I mean the width is more, so I think we can reduce it to 60. Quite really, literally 135 should be fine. 60 is not okay, 65 is okay on the width part. But, uh, radius, border radius we will have to change. So you have double dash R, border radius to be... 50 pixels what 50 pixels should be okay plus 0 so we'll compare one side first it's not 50 it should be more 70 pixels is too much 60 pixels is I think 60 pixel is right 
so we can have 260 pixels plus 60 pixel plus 0 plus 0 I think that is perfect so we are quite literally going a step by step we're changing that and we can have I inside ouch slash I we can give I padding double dash P to be 5 pixels uh, double dash R to be 50 percent double dash G to be hash triple zero and uh, double dash would be right about there which is perfectly in the place but zero minus 50 40 0 minus 40 is right okay and uh, we can have border ray box shadow box shadow to be 0 oh no x axis we need to shift it 80 pixel plus 0 well 80 is too much 70 70 is looking right perfect so we have this done and uh, next thing we need a p class equal to c yeah uh, for class c again we'll be doing following the same steps just change quite few things uh, first of all double dash g will change it to the darker pink color and uh, height and the width I think width is to increase maybe 70 now we need 75 at least yeah and uh, shift it by 130 or 125 125 is like right but positioning from top 75 wouldn't cut it so I think it is 100 oh it's not B it is class C so positioning would be like 150 150 no 140 should cut it 145 yes 145 is right okay probably the border radius is less than 60 I think it is 50 okay we can't we see that the radius in the bottom is less than the radius on the top so if we give 60 40 let's see what happens if I give 60 pixel 60 pixel 40 pixel as 40 pixel oh oh it is not perfect I think instead of 40 and below it must be 50 pixels yes I think it is perfectly aligning and we can give uh, we have the same things for A but I want to give this uh, inside class C we can have a B tag probably with closing the B tag but for B tag we have properties similar to A uh, instead border we won't have this and I need to delete this and delete one of these oh no
80. Okay, border radius should be 50%. What am I kidding? So let's have it as a class itself. I want similar to A, so let's not mess this around. Let's have P class uh, D. And D is similar to A, so we can put dot D over here, but we need to change only two of those properties. So dot D, you have a border five pixel solid. So there is no black. I don't need to mention black because by default the border color is black and we need to position it a uh, double dash R rotation we need to but double dash R would be 45 degrees and uh, position double dash would be 150 yeah 170 170 height no I think it is way below 160 5 height looks right now the position from the left would be 150 yeah it's perfect and we can have another class D but uh, the rotation would be minus 45 degrees and this would be 140 no, it should be the same so 165 165 plus 230 it's perfect I think this is the complete code we have completed in 732 characters let's submit and see 732 characters is not bad and it's an hundred percent match let's see on the leaderboard where we are on the leaderboard with 732 characters we are definitely in the top hundreds I guess since we are using variables and uh, having a smaller name for variables, we have an advantage. I mean, we save a lot of characters. With 700 characters, here we are. We are in uh, 50th place. So in order to shorten it, like firstly, what I would do is uh, we'll reduce off the spaces. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, where is my result gone? <laughs> okay, so we can remove the spaces and see how much is our code without the spaces. I'm using control to have. So whatever spaces we have equal, I'm going to use a backstroke. How that hurts. Okay. Yep, I guess back, back, back. <sighs> My system is responding quite slow. I have already given backspace many number of times. Uh, this is an issue with my PC. Uh, delete. Probably delete. 
tell it on the third try so it's all in one we can remove the last closing tag no spaces we have 556 characters so our entire code is just 556 characters so no comma no comma no comma in the last submit with 566 characters 556 characters we must be in the top 30 for sure should be maybe not let's see with 556 characters where we land to Oh, we 556 characters. We're in 33rd place. Not bad at all for CSS battle that is being played by 79,765 people. And we have 33rd place, which is not bad at all. So I hope you like this video. Uh, in the next video, we will be attempting to solve the B. Uh, this appears to be simple but uh, we will use a different strategy while approaching this probably not variable uh, I have let's see how we'll do that so uh, don't forget to hit the like button on this video and let as many people see or understand the uh, CSS as variable CSS variables and let's see you all later guys have a great day Kick. Hey, hey.